ओके हेलो सर हेलो स्टील ट्यूब हैविंग एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल डायमीटर ऑफ सपोर्टेड ओवर स्पैन ऑफ फाइव मीटर टू स्टॉप द ट्यूब कैरीज अ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड लोड ऑफ डब्ल्यू एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू मीटर फ्रॉम द वन सपोर्ट टू स्टॉप व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू इफ द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेच इज नॉट टू एक्सिट हंड्रेड एम पी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन द गिवन डाटा फॉर दैट हेलो सर्कुलर ट्यूब इट इज गिवन इट इज हेलो सर्कुलर ट्यूब it is simply supported beam so beam it is simply supported okay simply supported beam point load it is acted 2 meter from one support okay just assume 2 support 2 meter from one support W point load it is acted just as the material is W load it is acted what distance from the one end suppose this this end it is two meter two meter okay so total span it is five meter total span it is five meter total span it is given five meter five meter five meter okay means this distance it will be get how much remaining distance pi minus 2 it will be 3 meter so this distance it is 3 meter 3 meter okay then section it is circular hello circular section this hello circular section okay. this one it is hello circular section external diameter it is how much external diameter it is given 100 mm and internal diameter it is 20 mm uh, sorry 75 mm 100 mm and internal diameter it is 75 mm internal diameter it is 75 mm 75 mm okay 75 mm okay so write down given data so capital d it is 100 mm 100 mm and small d it is small d it is small d it is 75 mm 75 mm okay then span it is given uh, bending stress it is be given sigma b max maximum bending stress sigma b max is equal to it is how much it will be 100 mp 100 mp okay so first of all calculate maximum bending moment the maximum bending moment for eccentric load maximum maximum bending moment bending moment for eccentric load for eccentric load for eccentric load okay so for that m max is equal to we know that m max is equal to this m max is equal to this wl by wab by l W A B by L, okay. W A B by L. W A B by L. So A it is two meter, and B it is three meter. Okay. Here A it is A is equal to small A is equal to it is two meter, and small B is equal to it is three meter. Small B it is two me three meter. Put all these value here. So W it is unknown. we need to calculate w into a it is 2 meter so convert it is in mm 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 mm and 3 into 3 into 10 to the power 3 mm okay? divided by divided by l it is 5 meter 5 meter it is also converted it is in mm means 5 into 10 to the power 3 to be get m max in m max in mm okay so 2 into 3 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power 3 so 
sorry so 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 3 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 so it will be get 1200 in terms of w in terms of w m max okay then section modulus it will be calculated first of all calculate moment of inertia that is i i is equal to i is equal to so moment of inertia for hello circular section is pi into capital d rest for n bracket capital d rest for capital d rest for minus small d rest for minus small d rest for divided by 64 small d rest for divided by 64 so this one it is moment of inertia for hello circular section okay then the hello circular section divided by 64 64 okay 64 64 put all this value here so pi it is pi into pi into capital d rest 4 that is means external diameter it is how much external diameter it is 100 rest 4 100 rest 4 100 raised to 4, 100 raised to 4 minus 75 raised to 75 internal diameter. It is 75 raised to 4, 75 raised to 4 divided by 64, divided by 64, divided by 64, divided by 64. Okay, 64. Okay, it will be get moment of inertia for that. So pi into 100 raised to 4 minus 75 raised to 4 divided by 64. So it will be 3.355 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4. Okay. Then why it is? Why it will be? Y is equal to y is equal to this capital D by two external diameter divided by two external diameter divided by two external diameter divided by two. So external diameter is hundred divided by two. So this one it is hundred divided by two. It will be get fifty mm. Okay, and that divided by two. And the number two will be get fifty mm, fifty mm, fifty mm. Okay. So section modulus z is equal to it will be i by y. Z is equal to it is i by y. I by y. Okay. Section modulus it is i by y. So i it will be known value. Y it is also known value. So i it will be three point three five five into Ten raised to the power six divided by divided by y it will be fifty mm. 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 Fifty mm. Fifty mm. Okay. Three point three three five into ten raised to the power six divided by fifty. So it will be get sixty seven. Sixty-seven point one one into ten raised to the power three mm cube. Mm cube. Okay. So this is already section modulus. Okay. So now calculate bending stress equation as per the bending stress equation. As per the bending stress equation, sigma b max. Sigma b max is equal to it will be m by z. So this one it will be m by z. M by Z. M by Z. M by Z. So sigma b max it will be given. It will be hundred mp. Hundred mp is equal to. So m we are calculated. M it will be how much? M we have calculated it is two into ten to the power three into into. Three into 
10 to the power 3 divided by pi into 10 to the power 3. We have calculated 1200. 1200, 1200 W divided by Z. It is section modulus. We also calculated this value. It is 67.67.11 into 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3. So only unknown value here W. Okay. It will be get W from this relation. Okay. Calculate W is equal to now. 65, sorry, 67.11 into 10 to the power 3 into 100 divided by 1200. It will be get capital W is equal to 67.6 into 10 to the power 3. 67.11 into 10 to the power 3 into 100 divided by 1200 so it will be get 5592.5 newton okay so convert it is in kilo newton w is equal to it will be w is equal to it is divided by thousand it will be 5.59 5 point five nine in kilo newton okay in kilo newton so this one it is Concentrated load it will be acted on the beam. Then bending stretch to exit 100 MPa and external diameter it is 100 mm and internal diameter it is 50 mm. Okay. 